What's up guys? Today we're going to be hiking in the bamboo forest of Mogan Shan, also known as Mount Mogan. But first, we're going to go get some lunch. So there's like a little village near where we're going to start the hike and I guess that there's a restaurant here. Hello. Hello. Can you say hello? <laughs> lunch time, dig in. All right, we're gonna start our hike. This is our, I guess, our hike guide behind me. Okay, so right now we're just walking through a town until we get to the start of the hike. I'm not sure how far we have to walk. But this is a pretty cool looking like village mountain town. Okay, so I read that for decades, Mogan Shan has been like the playground of like Shanghai's elite, where all the wealthy Chinese come and spend their weekends. I was looking online at some of the hotels. I mean, you can get like cheap hotels for like $150, $200, but some of the hotels that I'm guessing the elites stay at, man, some of these hotels you can pay 4,000 US dollars a night to stay in some of these nice villas that they have higher up on the mountain. Supposedly it's gonna rain, so we need to get some sort of raincoat. Okay, so but I three people. All right, we have officially started hiking Mount Mogan. I just prefer to call it Mogan Chan. I'm not calling it Mount Mogan. That's what they call it on Wikipedia. They gotta change that. Just call it Mogan Chan. We are officially entering nature, and leaving the village. Yeah, so most of this mountain is like a bamboo forest, as you can see here that we're entering. But just because there's bamboo, there's no pandas. That's in a completely different place in Sichuan. So don't ask me about pandas in the comments. <laughs> The baby awesome. bamboo. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna keep traveling. I'm gonna keep doing my thing. That's why we've got lots of videos coming up in the future. Whew. That's why they call it hiking. <laughs> Next week, we are gonna be back in Shanghai filming more videos, but there's gonna be lots of domestic travel in China the next few months. All right, we're just getting warmed up. We're taking a break by the highway to let everybody else get caught up but it's supposed to be quite the climb today. Shifu, we're going to go to the next level. 650 meters. 650 meters. 167 meters. Oh. It's almost. It's not Russia. No, it's not. It's not Canada. It's not Canada. It's not Canada. It's not Canada. It's quite cool up here and actually so I read that a lot of the lodges that got built up here were built by British and American missionaries in the 1800s because if you've ever spent time in this part of China in the summer it is hot it is hot so People like to come up here in the mountains in the summertime to escape that heat. What did he say? In two weeks time, there's going to be like a... Uh, there's going to be bamboo shop all over the mountain. Oh, that's why he keeps looking at the ground because it's like they're sprouting, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. It'll be fantastic. We can dig some bamboo shop on the way. Bring it back to Podina. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, we're going to do that today? Or they... Oh, no, no, no. They will do that. Yeah. Like next two, two weeks. Oh, okay. So the bamboo grows that quick. It's just an endless forest and so quiet. Other than me shouting at a camera. Okay, so I came with a tour group, but this is totally something you could come and arrange by yourself. As long as you could just like, sort out how you're gonna get here. Like if you had a car, it'd be a bit expensive to rent a car, but if you if you drive or you have like a friend who drives, if you can get out here, I would actually, I kind of regret that I'm not spending the night, but that's also because I'm renewing my passport, so I can't. 
but I would totally recommend someone coming here, get a lodge, and then just come get lost in this forest. Cause you're not actually gonna get lost cause you still get, still get signal. And there was lots going on in that town back there. There definitely would be a lot of, there'd be a lot of choice of food and probably somewhere where people are drinking. I wanna know what's up higher on the mountain cause we keep seeing like Teslas and Audis and stuff. And I know I said, this is where Shanghai's elite have been coming for decades. I kind of like, I think this place thinks of itself as kind of like the Hamptons for Shanghai. Now, obviously those super rich are not coming here to hike. It's kind of more just like, because of how peaceful and quiet it is up here. There's quite a bit of tourist infrastructure in the area. I saw the list of hotels was really, really long. Everything from the affordable to the super unaffordable. I've got a little ahead of the group so we can hear that quiet and look at the shot. Okay, so apparently we're almost at the top and there's going to be quite the sight up there. We'll be able to see from the top of the mountain. I was a bit worried that with all the trees, we wouldn't be able to see anything, but in a few minutes, we'll be at the top and we can. Got it. Okay, perfect. Oh, not perfect. Check it out. Maybe, 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 maybe just stand up. Maybe I, I will show you. Let me show you. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Here. We do it. sun is starting to come out. When we started the hike, we were actually concerned it was gonna rain. So the tour group went and bought us rain jackets, but the weather has taken a turn for the better. So I'm excited to get to the top. How's the hike so far? Uh. Happy. We've only been hiking for like an hour actually. Oh, or like really? a little over an hour. Really? <laughs> Are you sure? Oh. oh, I can actually hear other tourists. The only people on the mountain up to this point have been in our group. Now there's the view. I don't know if this is the top, the end, but it looks good. Okay, so we've got 30 minutes of free exploring at the top, um, and apparently there's a few different scenic spots we can go get a good view. Oh, it looks like there's a pavilion here that used to be used for bungee jumping. It's weird. Let's check this out. Okay, definitely not used for bungee jumping because it's not that high. It just has a hole in it for some reason. Finally, we're headed to the top of the top. Apparently there's another top to the top we were just at. There's always a bigger, there's always a higher peak. There's always a bigger fish. I do want mountains and hiking to be, not the focus of this channel, but I want it to be, I want it to have its space in this channel. Um, because we're generally just doing traveling. We're seeing the world. The world is a beautiful place, but I want, I want there to be a lot, a lot more mountains. I want to do more hiking. I'm not going to turn this into a hiking channel, but every now and then if someone recommends a good mountain or I find a good mountain, we're going to throw in a hiking video because hiking is great. Well, it's a bouncy bridge. <laughs> We go up. Oh, it's getting steep. <sighs> so I said that like this area is kind of like the playground for Shanghai's elite, but actually we should probably refer to just like the elite of this Delta, you know, this Delta, I forget the name of the Delta. It's, but it comprises like, Shanghai, Hangzhou, Suzhou, and all the kind of, there's a lot of big cities that are kind of almost part of Shanghai, but not part of Shanghai, but they're all very close to one another. And it's one of the wealthiest regions in China. So when I say playground, how do I like describe, think of it more as cottage country. 
you know, in major cities around the world, like Toronto, you've got the Muskokas, New York, you have the Hamptons. So think of it kind of as like cottage country that services this Delta, if that makes any sense. Now, obviously there's a lot more places than just this, but Mogenshan is a very popular one and it's an upper scale one. And this, this area around here would have a lot of lodging and every, and I'm saying when, when the people come and it's their playground, I think they just come to get away, get away from the city and pay for the peace and quiet. They're not necessarily coming to do these hikes because it is peaceful country out here. Okay, let's go up there. We made it to the top. I think this is the last thing we're gonna see before we start heading down the mountain, but we're heading down the mountain in a different way. So there's still gonna be cool stuff to look at. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Um, Am I allowed to go up there? Okay. Huh, there's a ladder here for no reason. Twitter. I don't have Twitter. Are you a YouTuber? Yes. Oh, there's nothing up here. Yeah. Oh, whatever. It's cool though. You want my YouTube? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. L I A M. Oh, travels. You are a travel YouTuber. Kind of. Okay, so I've made jokes before when I see people in videos and they try to talk to me and I say, oh, I ran into a fan. Well, technically, he subscribed on his own will and then was in the video after subscribing. So technically, he was a fan that I ran into while traveling, even though at the beginning of when I saw him in the video, he wasn't a fan, but still, hopefully that starts to happen more often. Your steps don't, you don't want it to twist your legs. You always think when you're going up the mountain, you're like, oh, I can't wait to be going down, but actually going oh. down is harder. There's more risk of falling. <laughs> He's afraid. But when people are doing things, it's interesting. Like when they were taking the photo, people like to see that. Or when we're eating. Uh, like the family in general, they used to like this water. Well, we've come down from the mountain and looks like we're descending into another town. Like I said, don't think of Mogenshan as just like a mountain, more as like a kind of like a resort cottage country. That's what I'm going to use in the thumbnail. Cottage country. Oh, that's cool. This is 1900 years, right? Yeah, 1900 years. Oh. There are three or four years, but not even it's been so long since I've been to like rural Zhejiang. There's like a, a smell of nature to it. I love it. There's just a peacefulness to it. Don't spend too much time in the city. You've got to get out into nature. Yeah. Come to Mogansheng. Yeah. yeah These are fantastic places. you got a lot of hiking trials over here. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Dean, by the way. Hello, Hello YouTuber. That's those nice houses I was talking about that the super rich live in. Someone's always, that's, you obviously come and you rent a house like that. Or that's just someone's home and they've just done it up real, done it up really nice. Yeah, like, not necessarily like the super rich. I'm like, you get a big group of people and you split the house um, and you come, you have a party or some sort of a celebration. It's not something you do very often. You know, $4,000 a, a night is not a lot of money when you're with 15 people. The, the restaurants in these small town Zhejiang kind of rural places, there's always like at least one that is like amazing. If not, like you're gonna have a lot of choice. Those like, when you're, you're eating Chinese food, you go to those restaurants that have like the lazy Susan and then just like have some local order for you and just like spin in the table. 
These signs are everywhere. I said in another video, I don't get it, but they went viral. So every sign has one of these. Like it says, what's I in the place, Xiang Nianni. So, what's I, Morgan Shan, Xiang Nianni. All right, we are literally back where we started the video. So I think now is gonna be a perfect time to end the video. So if you live near Hangzhou, you live near Shanghai or wherever, if you're just traveling in China and you want a great day of hiking, come to Mogan Shan. Yes. I don't know what I wanna say. Ice cream. <laughs> next week we're traveling in Shanghai and the next few weeks we're all traveling in China. So gonna have some great trips planned.